Had two bad years, lots of injuries, but 2023 is my year. I was one point short last year, and there's no way I'm letting Brayton win a six. I almost won this championship 10 years ago. I'm back this time to get it done. Australia is a long ways for me to come to not win. I'm not here to play around. These guys can say what they want. I've won the past five for a reason, and I didn't travel all the way from the USA to not win a sixth. Welcome to round two of the Fox Australian Supercross Championship, where at McDonald Jones Stadium, normally home for the Newcastle Knights, well tonight it's home for some of the fastest Supercross riders on the planet. Hello everyone, I'm Lee Hogan alongside former Supercross superstar Danny Ham. Now, Danny, hometown hero, I see you smiling, you love this place. Let's first of all touch on round one in Adelaide. We had tight, intense racing, there was block passing, all kinds of crazy action going on. But here for round two, what a stadium. This is absolute paradise for Supercross. It's almost just perfect for Supercross, absolutely. The Newcastle crowd that comes in here gets so excited with motorsports. Supercross is well and truly on their radar. Completely different though to what we saw in Adelaide. Very tight, close racing. Not to say it won't be close here, but they have a much bigger track, a lot faster, bigger jumps, a lot more room to move around. So expect some really intense racing here as well. All right, now let's talk about the format. Round one, we had the traditional single final format. Here tonight, Newcastle, not the case. The super exciting triple crown format. Three finals for the SX1 and the SX2. Now, all three of their finals are point scoring towards the championship. Let's explain that a little further, Danny. Yeah, so in Adelaide, they only had the one race, one chance to score the points for the championship. If you had a bad night there, then you drop back quite a long way, but tonight, this could be redemption for those guys that didn't have the best night. They've got a chance to jump themselves back into the championship. On the flip side, the guys that had a really good night in Adelaide, they almost have a chance to secure their spot for this championship going into the final round. So tonight, extremely important. All right, can't wait to see how it plays out. On that note, let's take a look at the championship points. In the Premier SX1 class, Dean Wilson on the Factory Boost Mobile Honda took the win with a maximum of 25 points. Justin Brayton in second place, Matt Moss rounding out the top three, and Josh Hill back there in fourth place. In the SX2 class, Max Anstey was on top with a maximum 25 points. Robbie Wageman in second place, Wilson Todd rounding out the top three, and Cole Thompson back there in fourth. All right, it's time now to go down to the third member of our commentary team, Cam Williams. Gentlemen, how exciting. Newcastle, the very heart of the Hunter Valley, and indeed, the heart of Australian motocross series. As you said, the Triple Crown. What that means, three starts. We have to get our riders from down there at the start gate to back here three times safely. The couple of variables here is this dirt in Newcastle. Take a look at this. This stuff is a little bit marbly and a little bit crumbly. And what that means is variable grip across this track everywhere. Also, variable grip coming into the first turn. How they get this done three times cleanly and get away with this, they've got 10 laps each. There's very, very little time to make up for a mistake. Gentlemen, this is where a lot is going to happen. We're very excited for the night's racing. Thanks, Cam. Well, it is go time. Cannot wait to get the night started here. We're going to kick it off with SX2 heat number one, Danny Ham. We saw some fast and furious action in qualifying heats, that's for sure. Yeah, well, but before we get to that, we're going to take a look at this beautiful venue and the track map that's involved here at Newcastle. Well, actually, the 30-second board is up. 
Let's go with the racing right now. And uh, these boys have already been out earlier on today. They have done all the laps in preparation for this race. Done a lot of uh, qualifying out for their first heat. Now, there is 11 guys on the start gate, 12 guys on the start gate. This is to select their start uh, pick of the main events that are coming up later, the triple header, as we are underway for the first race of the night. And a great start from, well, our whole shot getter has gone down, unfortunately. But there we have number 20, Wilson Todd, at the head of the pack, doing it exactly what he planned to do on board the terra firma honda machine and he scoots around that left hander and into this technical rhythm section we saw all kinds of craziness going on here during the day Danny. and we just saw a great glimpse of that also on the inside there with nathan crawford the ktm rider moving himself into second running a different combination through that rhythm section and that's something we noticed early on in the day is just the amount of different lines that these guys were able to take so they have just fresh out on this track there's been a lot of water laid down since they were out there earlier so you can see the bike sliding around everywhere at the moment once this sun goes down though and this water has a chance to soak into it it's going to be a very good racetrack well what a passing move there into the lead for our number 199 nathan crawford on the ktm machine relegating wilson todd back a position he was looking super fast in practice and time qualifying this part of the track as you can see complete shade at the moment the other part of the track in sunshine danny yeah and that's going to play into it just a little bit it will dry out very quickly on that side of the track as we see the leader crawford todd and then it's back to costly back there on the yamaha who got himself a good start as well lee you know as well as i do that this particular race the heat race it's not important for the overall of the night however you do want to get yourself a good position in this race so you get a good gate selection later on and i think trying to stay upright make no mistakes it's going to be pretty vital at the moment a top 11 going through into the triple crown format three finals tonight for both the sx2 and the sx1 classes and an interesting point as we mentioned earlier every single race of the triple crown counts towards your championship points so overall there is 75 points up for grabs for these sx2 riders tonight just shows how important oh. it is to make sure you get yourself a good position at the end of the night we just got a great glimpse of the 202 machine that was connor rosendick just a little bit loose with the water that's been laid down through those whoops but very impressed at the moment with crawford the 199 machine on screen at the moment when we saw him go out in the very first practice earlier on today jump straight in behind max anstey the championship leader put the pressure on him and eventually made the pass as well so just showing that Crawford is here and he means business here tonight. Yeah, he does, absolutely. And he knows how to ride Supercross, that is for sure. And he's showing us how it is done at the moment. Still, Wilson Todd back there in second place and he's only 2.5 seconds back off the lead. We saw a shot a uh, few moments ago also of the 69 machine. That there is Wageman back there in fourth, going down the rest of that leaderboard just there on the left of the screen. Ferguson is also up there. Novak with a good ride. Taylor, I feel, was the rider that went down in the first turn. Correct me if I'm wrong there, Lee. So still in seventh. He has made up a couple of places. However, I'm sure with the speed that we saw out of him earlier today that he would rather have been up there battling for this position right here. Now, as we mentioned a little bit earlier, the track got a little bit of moisture down on it at the moment. Now, you played a big role in this track, Danny. You're doing multiple duties, not only up here in the commentary box doing TV hosting, but you've just come straight back from Abu Dhabi. You've got straight off the aeroplane, jet lag, hopped into the skid steer to help Brooksy and the crew do their thing. A very impressive track, but at the moment, we're seeing it really kind of slippery until it gets to dry out a little bit there on cue. We see Nathan Crawford with a little step out sideways. Yeah, it is a little bit slippery at the moment as we see Crawford moving his way around. This should be the check flag, I feel, this time around. And this is really going to sit well with Crawford out for the victory in the first race of the night. And that there is going to set up a lot, you know what I mean? A lot of confidence for this guy moving into these three finals. And he is absolutely pumped. Now, something happened there, I'm going to say, with Wilson Todd. He dropped quite a ways back. He was only just over two seconds behind our race leader for the bulk of that race. 
Yeah, so Todd has been a rider that was also in Abu Dhabi. He's had plenty of time on the Supercross tracks of late. So he is definitely one of those riders that will fight for that win.